Hi, Danielle again. Today I'm going to be making um, some meat sauce, so marinara sauce, but with ground beef. You can use ground turkey, ground chicken, anything you choose. I choose to use ground beef. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and get the ground beef started cooking. And let me add a little bit of, um, what do you call it? Extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on the side. And then I'm going to toss in some onion. So I diced up about a mm, quarter, quarter cup of onion. So I'm going to put that in there. Wash that onion smell off my hands real quick. <laughs> Just so it doesn't smell too much. So yeah, it's about a quarter cup, quarter cup, a quarter of like a small onion that I chopped up. So I got that in there. And normally I use fresh garlic, but I'm going to try this crushed garlic. So it comes like that already crushed up. Let me get a spoon. So, I don't know. I've never used this. What do you guys think? Ooh, ooh, very strong. Well done. It's nothing but garlic. So I'm going to put about eh, that much. What is that, like a spoon? Mm, maybe I'll put a little more. About the same. Two, two of those little to those little spoonfuls. So that, and I'm gonna let that cook. So what have you guys been up to these last few days? We have not been up to much. Um, it's been really hot here. Summers get pretty hot here, so um, we've just been staying inside because it's just too hot to be outside. But, you know, we do go for, for our morning walks, and then we do our exercises. It's just our normal day-to-day -day stuff, but other than that, there hasn't been much going on. Um, what I'm going to do with this, once this is done, is I thought I'd try these red lentil penne. I've never tried them. So, one simple ingredient, red lentils. I don't know. I've never. So I'm supposed to make me, the me, ingredients: red lentil flour. So I'll try these. I'll let you guys know how those turn out. Also, other options that are healthier than just regular old pasta. You could also get like the whole grain pasta, so it's not you know so much carbs. Still carbs, but excellent source of fiber. And then you can also, if you don't have a veggie spiraler or zucchini spiraler, they have these frozen. I have tried these before. One time um, I bought these and they came out soggy, but I've been looking up different things, how to make them not soggy, and it says just to don't cook them so long. Probably me, knowing me, I want them super soft because they're like, oh, stuff really soft and gooey. But So I'm going to try these. Again, I'm going to put them back in the freezer for now. Um, well, it's just medium for right now. And right now I'm just going to um, concentrate on the sauce and getting that made. It smells so good. So yeah, I'm just letting these onions and stuff kind of get all that flavor into the oil. Then it'll get into the meat. Okay. Get this going here. Also, whether out where you guys are out, is it? I mean, you live in a hot climate. Is it summertime? Is it winter time? I know other countries right now it's winter time, so um, for us it's hot. But what is your favorite season? Let me know in the comments what your favorite season is. My favorite season is fall, followed closely 
by winter. I'm more of a fall winter. And yeah, so I love fall. I love winter. I love everything about it. I love the weather. I love the coolness. And we don't get, I love snow, but we don't get a whole lot of snow here. We're lucky if we get like one good snowfall a year, but that's okay. Um, so when it does happen, we make sure we enjoy it. And I love like even just all the holidays during that time. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving. Oh, this is coming up on my, not yet. It's July. But for me, yeah, once like the 4th of July is over for me, I'm like, okay, let's bring this on. Let's do these holidays. I'm ready for decorating for fall and then decorating for Halloween. And then we don't. So what I do is I'll decorate for fall, like coming like in September. So the month of September, I'll usually have decorated for fall. So that's like my fall time. And then come October 1st, we'll decorate for Halloween. And then come the day after Halloween, what we've done the last year or two is we put up Christmas. We're about that Christmas life. Yeah. I love Christmas. Me and Cheyenne, we both love we love Christmas. So yeah, we're about that. And then that's it. Then it's New Year's. And then we take all that stuff down and then it's time for the new year. So I love all this whole time. It's Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. And yeah, it's fun. It's a nice time. Usually at the beginning of September. Well, um, Maybe like the beginning-ish of September, we have um, our state fair. But this year, they haven't, an, I don't think they've announced yet, but I'm assuming they're not going to have the state fair this year. So we're going to do, we've already talked about it. We're going to do, because mostly we go for like the food. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we're going to make um, like state fair food. We're gonna try, I think it was like funnel cake. Never, I think I tried that once, but you know, we don't do that normally. So we're gonna try making funnel cake. We're gonna try making fry bread. Um, I don't know if we'll do, we want corn dogs. I don't know if we'll just buy like frozen corn dogs or if I'll try to make those. Those are a little scary, I don't know. So we'll see, we'll see what we end up doing. We will let you guys know. Oh, lemonade. Our state fair has lemonade that they do and when you get there you get like a big cup of lemonade and then you get like two or three free refills one year they did it where you had free refills all the time but they just did that once I'm sure that they didn't make very much money <laughs> so the next time they did like you got like one or two free refills I don't remember how many I want to say at least one, which was really good because, I mean, it's a big thing. And, and then after that, like, the, you got um, the refills at a lesser price then. So, and you could use that same cup throughout the whole two weeks of the fair. So, that was always, that's cool. And the lemonade's so good. So, we're going to try and make homemade lemonade and see how that turns out. We'll see. Do you guys have anything going on in your cities or states or anything like that? We've been, um, a couple of places are having like drive-in movies. So you can go and, you know, you have to stay in your vehicle. Well, you can get out of your vehicle, I guess, but just if you, you have to stay like there. And if you get out of your vehicle, you have to wear a mask. But we haven't done that. Um, I don't know, just <laughs> as far as I, I understand, you know, they have outhouses for the restrooms, but we're not outhouse people, you know? I mean, I know they're different now and they're not like quite as dirty and, and everything, but mm, I don't know. Yeah, we're just like, no, we'll, we'll just, yeah. We'll wait for the theaters to open up. If they had like where you could go like inside to use a restroom or something, we'd be down for that. But as far as I, my understanding is they have food trucks, which is cool. They have food trucks and then just like the, yeah, there's no indoor restroom. So, I mean, then if you want to drink something, which I'm sure, you know, when you watch a movie and stuff, you want to have something to drink, but then you 
gonna eventually have to go to the restroom. I mean, I guess he could like a two hour movie. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, it just kind of freaks us out. So we're just, we'll be like, no, we're not gonna do that. We'll watch at home and we'll wait for the theaters to open. But I, way back when they used to have, I mean, I don't know where you're, where you're, you all are at if they have um, drive-ins. Oh, I loved the drive-in. We don't have a drive-in here anymore. I loved the drive-in. It was so fun. You could just go and just be in your car. And then as time went on, they had it where you could just turn the dial and they'd have the sound come through your radio. And I loved the drive-in. It was so fun. You could just take all your snacks and your drinks. And like when we were little, we would go. My parents would send it, take us in our in our pajamas. My brother and I. It's just me and him. And um, we would go and yeah, we'd go in our pajamas already and then um, we'd go get snack. We'd take our own snacks, but you know, you always end up going to, to the snack bar too. We'd get things and yeah, so they would always show two movies, which was always cool. So, you, you know, you would get two movies and usually the second one we would fall asleep, but we had a station wagon. So the back seats would flip over. I had like three rows. So the very back they would flip down and put blankets and um, pillows and stuff. So we would lay back there and get all comfy and fall asleep. And you know, those were back in the days when there were things were different. So there wasn't like seat belts and all that. Like now I would not ever do that. I'd be like, get up, get in the seat belt. But you know, back then things were different. And so yeah, we'd come home. They'd usually carry us in. in so but that was fun i love the drive-in i got to take barbara a few times and then they i mean she was little and then they got rid of our drive-in so neither one of my kids really ever like barbara got to but she was a little i'm sure she doesn't remember we went one time when my brother was living in arizona and we went to go visit him and we went they still had a drive-in i don't know if they still do but they had one at that time and they um we went that was my one thing i was like we we'll have to go to the drive-in so we went and that was a lot of fun so she was little i want to say she was like five maybe i mean it was a long time ago and of course cheyenne's never gotten to because there's never been a drive in here it's sad okay so i got the meat and the um the ground beef and the onion and the garlic in there all cooked up now I'm going to add two cans of tomato sauce and this is 15 ounces I always a lot of times I'll use the already the the canned or jarred sauce pasta sauce and I'm fine with that to me personally I mean to me they're, they're basically the same the only thing with us starting to you know eat healthier and and watch things is i noticed that the jarred or canned sauces they have added sugar they literally one of the ingredients is fructose high fructose corn syrup and or sugar and one of the things we are supposed to kind of not be indulging in so much is sugar so with these though it, there is no there isn't any sugar you know I even checked, yeah, it's just tomato sauce, tomatoes, sea salt, onions, garlic, spices, flavorings, natural flavorings, bell pepper, citric acid, but no sugar. But when you do the other ones, they have sugar. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, why do you add sugar to, to your pasta sauce? I don't know. Okay, so I have that in there, and then... I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tomato paste. One can of tomato paste. I don't know if I said the can, two cans of tomato sauce. Yeah, I did. 15 ounces each, so two of those, and then one tomato paste, which is six ounces. And I just, um, I just get the store brand, like the tomato sauce is Members Mark, which is our Sam's, um, Sam's Warehouse, which is we, you know, where, where we get a lot of our stuff. So. I just get the members mark and then as far as this this is Albertson's signature select Albertson's is our local grocery store I don't think they're local but our neighborhood grocery store and um, so I just get the off-brand it's like usually quite a bit cheaper so okay 
I'm gonna run this real quick. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, that's not good. It's not working. Try it one more time. Why? Got that, and I'm just gonna add that in here. Stir it up. And then I'm going to add some, ugh, sorry about that guys. Just squished in over here. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning blend. This is one I get, I get this at Sam's, and I get this big jar. Um, I don't know how much it is. I mean, not much. And this lasts for a long time. So I, I don't know how much. Let's see. I put quite a bit. Probably like, let's say a tablespoon. I would say, gosh, you guys, my nose is just itchy. It's just allergies. I know that. Actually, you know what? It's going to be two tablespoons because I'm going to have more. So two tablespoons. I'll go ahead and add the recipe of what I do um, down, down below so this way you have it to follow. Okay, let's just let that simmer a little bit. I don't put a lid. I just kind of just let it simmer on low. Okay. So I'm just letting this simmer some more. Um, have you guys gone anywhere or done anything? Do you guys have doctor's appointments? Have you taken your kids anywhere, like to doctors or anything like that? I haven't had to, so that's good. Um, we are coming up, but we'll need to probably go soon. Um, but so far, we've been pretty good. So. I'm happy that we haven't had to go to the doctor, even just because, you know, a lot of time, most of the time, that's one of the things that I've noticed with quarantine is like, we have not been sick. Like Cheyenne would normally have gotten something from the kids at school. The last time she was sick was in December. She had strep throat. And normally at this time, she would have had something either a sinus infection or bronchitis or a cold. She would have had something um, probably like March, April, maybe even May that she would have had to fight off. But she said nothing. We've had some allergy flare ups, but nothing major. You know, it hasn't been bad. You know, it's really been pretty good with that. So, you know, silver lining. We haven't been sick. We've been healthy, which is amazing. A little bit of allergies here and there, but nothing major. Okay, so this is almost done. I don't cook mine too long. I know a lot of people will let theirs simmer like all day, but I I don't. Um, I'm not gonna cook the noodles now because we're gonna have this later. So I might let this kind of simmer, you know, but I mean, if you wanted to, you could do it now. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just cover it so this way it can simmer a little bit. I'm going to try some in a minute. Um, but then I'm going to give these a shot again and see if I can get them to not. And if you have a spiraler, hey, that's awesome. I might get one. If I like these, we'll see. I don't know. Oh, and the other thing you can use too is spaghetti squash. But those scare me <laughs> because they're so hard to cut in half. And I'm, I'm a klutz, so... I don't need anything that's going to possibly make it easier for me to injure myself. <laughs> so, I mean, I've done them and they're easy and they are good. And it's, it's weird because then when you bring it, it's just, it looks just like spaghetti. It's like the strangest thing. I have a hair in my face. Okay. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Um, this weekend, we have nothing. Um, next weekend, it is, I think I'm going to go to Barbara's. 
Um, just me. Shannon's going to stay here with the doggos and, and then my mom and my dad. But um, I'm going to go over to Barbara's. Kind of get away a little bit. I mean, still with your daughter, but you know, what else can you do right now? Not only that, I love hanging out with my kids. I mean, it's not an issue for me to be home with Cheyenne all the time and, and then to go hang out with Barbara at her house. It, I, I love it to death. I mean, even before everything closed down, Barbara and I would get together and go out to dinner, go have some drinks, go to a bar, go do something. So it's always fun. Um, so now we'll just do it at her house instead. And I think she said we we're going to make enchiladas. So that'll be fun. And that's pretty much it for next weekend. This weekend, we don't have anything going on. So just our normal tomorrow. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow, Saturday on our thing. Um, maybe we'll go for a drive. That might be good. Go for a drive. Ooh, get a Kiva juice. That's what maybe we'll do. We'll get up and we'll get ready, go for a drive, get a Kiva juice. Go check out either the mountains or the houses. I don't know. <laughs> and then Sunday, just our normal relaxing, um, you know, just day off. And that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and check this out. I will let you all know what these are like. If you all have tried any of these, like, lentil pastas, I've heard that they have... Um, like black bean ones. I didn't have any at my store. So if you all have tried those, let me know if they're good. I'm, I'm willing to try them. And these I've tried. I like I like the whole grain. I don't mind them. Um, to me, they don't really save, especially when you're putting sauce on them. For me, they're not any different. Let me get a spoon real quick. If you're not putting sauce on them, it might be a little different, but you know, with the sauce, I don't feel like it's that much different. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Do y'all want to see what it looks like? Mmm. Nice sauce. And I like it thick. So, yeah. It's just good, 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 good. I'll let this simmer for a little bit longer. But I am going to try it. Add a little bit of meat. A little bit of the sauce. I'm gonna put the lid back on because you know, saw the spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce, it splatters. Even if you have it on so low, I have it on the lowest I can have it, and it still splatters. I don't want to get my shirt splattered. I'm afraid it would stain. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Two thumbs up. I will definitely have the recipe down below. You all let me know if you try it, if you like it, share your recipes. If you have anything that maybe you add or do with yours, let me know about the pastas. Ask me any questions. Let me know what you're up to. I look forward to hearing from you all. And I hope you all are having an amazingly blessed day, an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.